Now at 11, a deputy accused of manslaughter in a deadly shooting takes the stand in his own defense, and he testified that he was afraid for his life. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega reports from the Broward County Courthouse. It was a very quick reaction. Grabs a weapon, pulls it over his shoulders, he turns and he points it. At a stand your ground hearing, suspended Broward Sheriff's Deputy Peter Peraza describes step by step what he says happened the night he shot and killed Jermaine McBean in July of 2013. McBean was walking through his Oakland Park apartment complex with what turned out to be an unloaded air rifle when deputies ordered him to lower his weapon. It looked like a rifle, it looked like a real weapon. I, I kind of had a, an idea that it was either a shotgun or a rifle. Peraza has said that McBean started to point the weapon towards the deputies when Peraza opened fire. Fatally shooting McBean. McBean's family says that McBean did not hear the deputies because he was listening to music. Those allegations, among others, are in dispute. It's heartbreaking. Uh, we've got a lot of inconsistencies between what BSO states and what the eyewitnesses state, and we're hoping that uh, next week we actually get uh, the two eyewitnesses that actually saw it and have a completely different story. Peraza's lawyer is asking the manslaughter charge against his client be dismissed under the state's stand your ground law, which protects those who act in self defense. He was scared. He was afraid. He got a dispatch. There was someone that had a rifle, and he was doing nothing more than defending the people at the pool, innocent people other deputies and himself.